Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pharaoh. This is episode 18 and we have a choice in front of us. We can pick uh, Men at Khufu, Hunger, or we can pick Kibet, Fighting for Peace. So this is going to be episode 18, part 1, and we're going to do Kibet, Fighting for Peace. And in part 2, we will do Men at Khufu. Let's pick Kibet here and let's get started. Your family's performance during the Civil War has not gone unrewarded. I, Pharaoh Mentuhotep, have awarded your family the rank of Vizier. There is no one in all of Egypt that I trust more than you. Now that the twin kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt are reunited, and the capital at Wast is thriving, I need you to help me solidify my position throughout the kingdom. While reunited, Egypt is prone to internal skirmishes, particularly in areas that were once loyal to the Henenesu rulers. To help solidify our new union, I want you to rebuild and defend Kebet. Kebet should be a glorious city that shows Egypt's citizens what is possible under my rule. This city comes under frequent attack from remaining loyalist cities such as Khmun and you must be sure to defend your city's borders. Famine still stalks the country, and frequent requests for food will come to you from other cities in the kingdom. Respond as quickly as you can to their heart-rending pleas, so that all Egypt will know my benevolence and the dedication of my most trusted vizier. I know that I am asking much of you, but there is no one else in Egypt capable of doing this difficult task. Alright, we are going to be playing on very hard difficulty again. We're going to need a population of 7,000, a culture rating of 40, a prosperity rating of 45, a monument rating of 14, and a kingdom rating of 85. Kabat, reunification. Let's get started. Let's slow the game down here a little bit. There we go. And let's take a look at what we have available. For farms, we have fig farms and flax, water lift, irrigation ditch, fishing wharf, work camp. For raw materials, we have a clay pit, granite quarry, gemstone quarry, gold mine, and copper mine. We also have the jeweler, potter, brewer, weaver, shipwright, and construction guilds, the carpenters guild, and the stonemasons guild. We have the granary, bazaar, storage yard, and dock. Booth, bandstand, pavilion, senate house, juggler school, conservatory, dance school. For the shrines and temples, we have Osiris, Ra, and Seth as the gods. For the temple complex, we have one for Osiris and one for Seth. And for the monuments, we have a large obelisk and we have a small obelisk. We've built those before. And we've got this festival square. Scribble school, library, well, water supply, dentist, apothecary, physician, mortuary, firehouse, architects, post, police station, tax collector, courthouse, city palace, dynasty mansion, roadblock, water crossings is bridge and ferry. And for beautification, the gardens, plazas, and small, medium, and large statues. There is a military tab, defensive structures, wall, tower, and gatehouse. Recruiter, forts, infantry, and archers. And we have the academy, weaponsmith, warship, wharf, and transport wharf. Let's take a look at the map. We have what remains of an old city here. It's filled with rubble. We're going to clean that up right away. We also have an archery fort here and an archery fort there with the recruiter here. We have some linen farms here, or linen factories. We're gonna get rid of these, I think. We don't need the linen right away. And we have a bunch of uh, potters here, but no clay pits, I see. We have a port right here as well. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna clean up all this rubble, and I'm gonna get rid of like the port. I'm gonna clean up, probably get rid of a couple potters here, get rid of these uh, linen and put some roadblocks in here. These roads are gonna be very difficult to manage with no roadblocks. I'm gonna kind of seal this area off and concentrate on leveling these houses up. Although I'm gonna pack this place with houses because I think we're gonna need 
a boost of population really fit real quickly. We have a, a water uh, floodplain here, floodplains here, one down here, a large one here, and a large one there. And we have uh, copper mines here and here. So copper and gold there and up here. So I'm going to clean this, this city up first and get it started with something I can work with. And I'll bring you right back. There's one more thing before we get started here. There is a bunch of this. So this is already pre-programmed by the ruler of the city before we came in. There's that, and there's also import as needed here set up. I think the taxes is at nine. Yeah, so we have to clean this up as well. And we have to clean up this. So I'm going to do that, and I'll bring you right back. All right, I'm back, and I got rid of the port. I put a... Uh, Play pit here and just have one potter. I put some houses in where we can. Roadblocks into protecting all of this stuff. And also some uh, fire and architects posts around here. Just to make sure it's stable. And we're going to let this populate. And I'm going to start building a ferry across here. Is my next step. I want to build a ferry across here. And then get an area set up here with a port and this is going to be our main trading center right in this area i'm thinking about putting a housing block over here fill this with gold and granite and up here copper so i'm going to set this up all right i'm back and we are still populating here i put up some ferries they don't have any houses so they're not fully running although the, the migrants can get across and I've got an area set up here, one for granite, one for copper, and this one is a spare one. I've got uh, all the protections they need, and I'm starting to put in physicians everywhere because the plague is a big deal now. I got a ship right here, so when we build some fishing farms, we're ready to go. I also have set up all the copper here, and the city palace, and the protections that we need with some granite. And we are 4,000 in the hole, so I'm taking a big plunge here. Hopefully, this, these gold mines can get us out as fast as possible. And I've got the beginnings here. I'm going to put the copper mines once this gets populated. I'm scared that it might take too long to get up there. So I'm going to let this run for a while and see if I can get out of debt. All right, I'm back and we put the copper mines in here. We are still hugely in debt. I think we're going to get a... Uh, dead anniversary and we're gonna take a kingdom standing hit. Let's take a look. We're at 36. I think we can take a kingdom standing and then I want to uh, probably buy the uh, the mansion so I can start uh, paying off the pharaoh as fast as possible. We do have some uh, work happening here and I've got storage yard set up here for figs. I'm gonna start selling figs right off the bat and we're going to start selling fish as well once they start uh, doing some fish farming. And we are going to set up trade with um, this oasis here for fish. And we're gonna set up trade here so we can start selling our copper and our granite. Let's get that going. And copper and granite here. We'll set this at zero. I'll set both of these up here in a second. But we're still going to let this run. We are now 5,062 in the hole. We are dangerously close to going bankrupt. I'm going to let this run for a while, and I'll bring you back once uh, we're out of debt. All right, I'm back, and I built some um, towers here. And just in time, because we have an Egyptian army is attacking us, and we have also suffered a debt anniversary. Let's take a look at that before we fight this battle. We are now at 21. And the invading army is right here. Now, we don't have much. But let's get these guys spread out and up there. And same with these guys. Let's get them over here. Let's speed this up. Let's watch this fight play out.
we are starting to get some trade happening here. Hopefully we can get out of debt quickly. All right, they're coming down. It looks like they have two regiments, a infantry and an archer. Let's see if I can coax these guys down here. up on that. Let's see if we can survive this. Alright, the infantry is retreating. Let's kill a few of these archers and they'll run away as well. Both of our regiments have broken. They're running back. And they're retreating. So we have now won, won this battle. We are 721. We are making quite a bit of money here with this setup. I'm going to wait a while until we get out of debt here. And we'll bring you back. Let me just check the army real quick here. Yeah, they're both uh, back into their, their forts. We've lost quite a few, if not all of them. All right, I'll bring you back once something changes here. All right, the next step here is I set up the fisheries and a proper uh, setup here so now uh, traders can get across the ferries. We are in the plus here, doing pretty good. We have an influx of people coming in, but we have some disease happening. These are still populating. So we're looking pretty good here. All right, I placed another fig farm here. So we got this going. And I've built another housing block here. We're going to need all the population we can get. We are currently short quite a bit of people. And we are almost 1,500 in the hole. This is going to be hard to manage. So I want to leave this city and start getting rid of a lot of these houses and just moving everything over here. I think that this is going to be easier to manage. And we're going to put some uh, food up here pretty shortly. I want to get these fig farms planted over here as well. So I'm going to set all that stuff up and I'll bring you back. All right. I set up another archer uh, fort here. And I've put in fish supply here and a fig supply here, which we're going to start to sell. And next I'm going to build all the fig farms here. And I'll bring it back once that's done. All right, I got all the fig farms planted with some irrigation here. We are still 300 in the hole. And I've set up uh, three granaries here. And we're getting another attack in six months. So let's get out of debt. We're building the archers here. And those are fully supplied. I'll bring you back once the fighting starts. Alright, we have an attack in one month here. So let's get ready for that. And I think it's going to be over here again. We have the full walls here. Let's get our guys in position. population here is so unstable mostly because of this plague that's happening right here and the Egyptian forces are on us here they are up here so we are set up in the right place we'll just let them wait wait till they come down and this is still populating we're set up pretty good looks like they've brought Two infantry squads this time and an archer, so they're growing in size. Let's see, can we... I want to lure them over here. looks like they're retreating although they broke our ranks there hopefully we have enough to deal with another round 
the police officers are coming to help us. They're coming straight in. Great. Hopefully we can kill a few by getting before they get to us. Alright, they're broken. We're looking pretty good. We'll kill a couple of these archers next, and they should break soon. Uh oh, we've lost some people on the forts. It looks like we may have a... Yes, we do. Let's put number two on there. There they are, they're back. And we're in debt again. And they broke. It looks like we've won that, although we've lost all of our troops pretty much yet again. They're wiping us out, but we're holding them off. This is looking pretty good, and we've got our first harvest happening here. I'm going to let this run until we get out of debt, and I'll bring it back when something changes. All right, I'm back, and we have another army attack here in six months. We have rebuilt our... Well, we've almost rebuilt our um, archers on this side. I have done some beautification here and leveled these houses up to protect them from plague as well. We've got all the fixings in here. And we've got our uh, fig farm in full swing. And I've set up another uh, archer's post here and got the beginnings of another wall of towers here. I believe the next invasion is going to come from here. So we have six months to get this built and up to snuff or we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to bring you back once the uh, invasion happens. All right, I'm back and we have an invasion in one month. We do have this set up. Let's hope I'm correct and they do come from down here. We are out of debt. Everything else is in swing here. We had a little plague over here. But everything seems to be all right. And except this, it's still unstable. And the Egyptian army attacks from up here. Let's get these guys going. Let's change their direction and spread them out a little bit. And we're going to put them right here. And hopefully we have enough towers here to deal with these guys effectively. Let's watch and see how this plays out. I do have some... Uh, let's change this here. Infrastructure. Yeah, we're doing all right. Let's watch this play out. We have some police officers here to help us out. Oh, well, they've destroyed one spot here. We have one regiment retreating. Looks like they got two infantry and two archers this time. Another one done. Oh, this is a close battle. They are destroying some of our stuff here. Hopefully we can get rid of them before they get too far in. Come on, guys. All right. Oh, it looked like they were treating there for a minute. It looks like they're retreating now. We have one left. The police officers are still chasing them. And it looks like they are retreating. That was a close call. We did lose some, some buildings here. I'm going to repair this stuff and... Uh, look at the aftermath and hopefully we can start rebuilding this and I'm going to bring it back when something changes. Alright, I'm back and I've got one of these rebuilt and we're starting to rebuild this but I'm thinking we got to start getting ready for the next attack which I think is going to happen from down here. So I've got the preliminary stuff set up here. I'm going to put up another row of towers here 
and I'm thinking about putting an infantry uh, fort right here as well. But that is my main goal, is to get ready for that. And I think I'm going to throw some towers in over here to protect the seaways, because I think the next attack is going to be um, land and sea-based. Yeah, so I'm going to continue on. I'm going to build that stuff up, and I'll bring it back once something changes here. All right, we have an Egyptian army attacking in six months. I have built some towers here. I have got the infantry fort, and we are making infantry, guys. We've got the archers here and archers here ready to go. Disease is still a big problem in this city here. This one is looking pretty good. We have another trade route available because we have been giving away fish and everything. We're looking pretty good. I have set up a, um, a weaponsmiths here, three of them, and here's a place to store some weapons. So they're using up all of our copper supply, so we're not making as much money anymore. But we're looking pretty good here. I think I'm going to wait until this attack starts, and I'll bring it back. Oh, we have uh, 21 weapons in nine months. We have one in storage. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. I'm going to try. But I'm going to bring you back once this attack happens. All right, we have a request here for 21 weapons again from the Pharaoh in six months. We have two in stock. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. And we also have another one here. The Egyptian army is going to attack in one month. I have built another infantry on this side. So we have three forts here and three forts in the middle. We do not have any ferries or anything to get the people across. And I've set up a couple forts, uh, towers here for protection of this. And now we have the armies on us. And yes, it's come out right where I thought it was going to be here. So let's get our guys out front. Right, let's tr trade these guys around and let's bring them here. And let's turn these guys that way and we'll bring them up in here again and hopefully we have enough towers i built another one here as well hopefully we have enough towers here to make this happen the police officers are holding them off at first while we sit here beautiful They've got one, two, three, four infantry and two archers. This is going to be a tough fight. I also think they have some warships here. Yes, they do. Let's let's watch this first. All right, they've got. They're right at our gates here. Hopefully, we have enough people defending this. They're going to decimate our archers. All right, there is another retreat. There is another retreat. All of our forces have broke and they're pretty much we've lost everybody again. And everybody seems to be retreating on that side. And it looks like our boats here have also fled from these. And we have a weapons for in 24 months. I don't think we're going to be able to do that. So this looks like a victory. Awesome. But we have lost half of our men and some damages there. Very good. I think the next step here is to expand the city. If I am correct... I wonder if that's one of them. Yes, it is. We still have a warship here. Now, if I'm correct, the next step in this fight is that we're going to need to send some troops into uh, the city and invade them. So I'm going to get ready for that, and I'll bring you back. This guy's going to be will flee here in a second with these archers here, or he gets destroyed. One of the two. 
Oh, we're gonna. I'll bring you back once I start uh, setting up the army to get ship off. All right, I've set up a new housing block here, and we have a distant battle happening. We are gonna have to send troops to a different city to fight, and we have six months to do it. In preparation for this, I have set up some transporting uh, places here, some transporting wharfs, and I've got an area here for wood. So that is my goal right now, is to get these ferries, uh, these transports built, and hopefully we'll have our army rebuilt here in time to send away. We have, like, very little. We only have one full squadron, it looks like, here. Two full squads, that's all we've got. So we're in a pinch at the moment. So I'm going to wait till some wood, oh, some wood has gotten here. We are going to start building our warships right now. I'm going to wait till that happens. I'll bring you back when something changes. All right, I'm back, and I have destroyed a lot of the houses in here. These were getting difficult to manage, and, uh, you know, the plague is still happening here. Since this is now the population is shifting over to this side, this is easier to manage, and this is leveling up quite nicely. What I've done here is we have almost built all the boats. We have another one coming in here. What I've done to buy us some time is that I have sent three archers abroad. So this should buy us some time. They're going to fail, of course, but hopefully the next time it comes available, we'll have more troops here. This is what I'm waiting for. So I'm going to let this build up and get these boats in order, and I'll bring you back. All right, I've done some beautification on here, and we have a distant battle in six months now. We have another opportunity. Our original three archers did fail. We are in debt here. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to load up everything we have. No matter how short it is, every troop that we have, we're going to load up and put it on these boats and we're going to send in everything we got. And hopefully we're going to have enough to beat them. I've also put in the academy here just to give our troops a little bit of a boost. So hopefully we're going to have enough troops. I'll bring you back once I launch everything there. All right, I'm back. And here is the last ship leaving for uh, the enemy city. I have sent everything we have except for four infantry out. We Everything that we could muster is on those ships. With the help of the uh, academy here, hopefully our army is going to have enough power to beat them. My next step here is I want to build another part of this and start leveling up this town. Heroes return. It looks like we are victorious. Yes, victory in battle. Our army returns, here they come back. So we have successfully beaten the military part of this mission, I believe now. I don't think we'll have any more problems or any invasions happening anymore. I think I must be still on the ship. Let's get all these guys home. All right. I don't think we're going to need any more ships or any more military whatsoever. So my next step is we want to build on the uh, some more housing and start leveling these houses up. Start leveling these houses up and start accomplishing some of these goals. We are not even halfway. Our culture rating is poor. Our kingdom rating has been doing pretty good. I have been giving them requests for figs, fish, and weapons to please them. And I've been giving them bribes every month. So we've been doing that. I'm going to let this run for a little while and start building on to accomplish those goals. And I'll bring you back when something changes. All right, I've added on some entertainment on this section just to get the houses leveling up here doing all right we've got some uh pavilions here we've got four pavilions and boosts down on the bottom here looking pretty good there 
I have also put in some granary over here and removed some of the houses. So we only have this little block left here and a few patches. Still got some rubble here from the fighting. So we're going to start trying to level these guys up as well and trying to get our population up into the 7,000 range. The foreign city is conquered. So our enemy city has officially fallen. I think the military aspect of this scenario is over. We're going to concentrate on, on this stuff next. All right, I'm going to run for a little while, and I think I'm going to start setting up some jewelers. I do believe now we have a place to sell jewelry here. So I'm going to start setting up some jewelry. We're going to need a lot of money to build. We are in the hole. I'll bring it back once we are out of the hole or I've got some jewelry, uh, jewelry factory set up. I'll be right back. All right, I just built a whole bunch of gem mines here. Gemstone mines, a whole bunch of them, and they are going to be shipping them over to here. This is the, for luxury goods, and I believe this here is for gems here. Yes. And I've got three jewelers set up here as well. So this is going to be quite lucrative for us once this gets going. We're going to start to sell these. I've gone back to selling um, copper as well. We're looking good. We are still in the hole though, and we have a fire in the shipwright. So I'm going to have to repair some of the protections around here. And we are heavily into debt. I will bring it back once we're out of debt. All right, we're all where we were out of debt. Now we are back in debt. I've cleaned up some of the roads here to make it more e easily manageable. And this area is starting to level up. So we're looking pretty good on that front. These guys are still a little bit unstable as well. So I'm working to get that stable out. We're going to have to do some beautification around here, I think, to really give it a, uh, a boost. All right, I'm back, and I have set up a lot more granite, and I've set up a place here for granite. We are getting ready to build the obelisks. We're going to build the obelisks right here. And we've got uh, gemstones and our jewelry happening. We are looking good on food. These guys are still not quite right. No pottery. So we're going to have to get some pottery in here very shortly. And I did some beautification here. So we've got plazas across here, except for down here. So everything is looking good. I'm going to bring it back once I get some blocks, because we do need, for the monuments, we do need blocks before we start. We need 200 blocks to start the large one. We're going to build the large one first. And we are sitting at, what, 72 right now. So I'll bring it back once we are closer to that mark. All right, as we're waiting for the obelisk and the granite to acquire, I have set up a spot here for pottery. We've got a spot here for the clay. We've got uh, six clay mines and, what, six potters all right here and a place for pottery right there. So this should now help out all of these houses here level up into the next level. These are looking pretty stable right now as well. I'm going to need to do some beautification on here. And I'm going to have to fix all this. So we'll see how that goes. I have been placing shrines all over the place as well to keep the gods happy. So everything looks like it's on the up and up. Yeah, we're starting to level up here quite nicely. So I'm going to let this run for a little while. We are out of debt. We're making some good money. And I'll bring it back when something changes. All right, I've set up some entertainment in this part of the city. So these guys should now start leveling up. It's looking pretty good over here. We've got everything selling. We have a boatload of pottery. I'm probably going to start selling pottery as well. My next objective is to set up beer. We're going to have to get some beer going on here. And I'm going to set that up and I'll bring you back. All right, we're back and we have five brewers here and I've got some barley being imported. We've got a beer location ready to go right here. 
Our blocks are looking stable. We're looking pretty good there. And this one is looking good as well. We are no longer having the plague issue. That has gone away. We're looking pretty stable right now. I'm going to let this run. And my next mission is to get some linen, some papyrus, get the scribble schools, courthouses, and the finishing touches on here is my next goal. And I'll bring you back once I'm done that. All right, we've started the uh, obelisk here. And I have put in the courthouses. So these are leveling up now some more. And we've put in a courthouse over here as well. So we're looking pretty good. This is still a little unstable. It's leveling up though. We'll get there. I'm going to let this run. We have a lot of money. We are looking really nice right now. Yeah, we're looking really nice. I think we might start getting a food problem. We're going to have to build another block. I've got that ready to go. And once, uh, once that's going, I'll bring you back. All right, I'm back. And I set up a bunch more uh, brewers. We're going to need as much beer as we can. We don't have enough. So we're going to get that going. And I set up a place here for papyrus. And we've set up the scribble schools and the mortuaries ready to go. So that should be leveling us up nicely. And I've got a spot here for um, linen when it starts happening. What it looks like is we are having a food shortage here quite quickly. And I'm going to start building a third block here. So I'm going to start building that and I'll bring you back. Oh, and the obelisk here is still being uh, still being built. All right, I'm back and I've built a third block with everything you can imagine in here. We've got the mortuaries, clinics, dentists, courthouses, scribble schools, physicians, tax collector, the whole nine yards is here ready to go i've done some beautification on this to get everything going these are looking pretty stable now we still don't have a large stockpile of beer hopefully we're going to be able to do it and food is going to become a serious issue the large obelisk is still being built and we're still not even the 5,000. i know this is still populating here we did spend a lot of money there almost five grand I'm going to let this run. We're going to let this populate, and I'll bring you back when something changes. All right, I'm back. I've planted some fig farms here, as you can see. And we are struggling to level up these places here because we are consistently running out of food. We need way more food. I think we're going to have to tap into everything we got here. Start setting up some food here start setting food up here as well and do some fine tuning on this here and see if we can squeeze out as much food as we possibly can that's going to be my next goal is to solve the food crisis here and we are past the 5,000 mark we need 2,000 more people and we got this licked let's take a look we are at the 50 so we don't need to do any more leveling up prosperity so we just blew a whole lot of money building uh the monument rating is still at eight and our kingdom rating is at 85. I'm continuously bribing the uh, pharaoh. And 2,000 left to go there. So I'm going to start building all of these fig farms here. And I'm going to bring you back once I complete that. All right, I'm back. And I've built a whole bunch of farms here. We've got... Oh, and obelisk is finished. We've got the large one now finished, and we've got the second one now finished. So we got to do a third obelisk. We have to fine-tune this a little bit. We've got this. I've got here. I'm going to set up some here. And we've set up some here as well. I'm going to have to get rid of this. Made a mistake there. Farms, fig farms. Max this out. There we go. Uh, hopefully this is going to do it. I think I can set up some fig farms over here as well. So we're looking pretty good. Hopefully this is going to give us the food that we need. And I've also set up a couple flax. And we're going to start creating our own 
I think I'm going to set up a flax place right here, and then a couple uh, flax uh, or uh, cloth makers here. So I'm going to do that, and I'll bring you back. All right, I set up some more figs here, and I destroyed all the boats we had, and I've just replaced them all with fishing. Hopefully, and I've turned off selling figs and selling fish. We are still running out of food, as you can see, although we have everything almost leveled up, and we are very close to our mark here. And I built the second uh, small pyramid, so now we are done the monuments. Monuments are finished. Kingdom standing is still low. Our prosperity, because I just spent a whole bunch of money. Uh, culture is looking good, and population is almost there. I think we just have to let this run for a little while, and we'll get real close to finishing. I put some more houses in here as well, trying to squeeze out as much as I possibly can. This is a little bit unstable here. I might have to take a look at this. But I'm going to let this run and see if we can get any closer here, and I'll bring you back. All right, I'm back, and Osiris is a little bit upset, so we have built him a, shrine, a temple here. Temple to Osiris. Now, let's take a look at them. They are all... Well, he's going to be happy because we just built a temple. He's going to correct that very shortly. We are almost broke. But I think we've got the food situation under control because we had some food left over, and then this harvest is just coming in. So it looks like we have food all year round. This is looking pretty good. We have a few unstable patches in the corner here. Our fishing is in full swing. Everything's looking all right. This is still a little bit weak, but we are so close. I'm going to let this run. I think that all it's going to take now is a few minutes of letting it run, and we'll meet our goals here. Back in that. All right, we now have our 7,000. Let's take a look at where we're standing. We've almost met that. We are there. This is going to be there in a few. This, I think I can give them a gift in six months. We're going to give them a gift in in another six months. And we should be, we should be there. Everything is looking great. The housing is looking all right. Our city's looking great. This is looking better. There's a few empty spots here I'll fix. But I think we are very close to victory here. I'm just going to let this run for a, lot, a little bit longer, and we should be there. All right, on back. Let's take a look at where we're sitting now. We have everything we need. But there, let's do this. We can send a gift. Let's do that. Let's give the rest of the city. And there is our victory for today. We're going to take a look at my score. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you soon. Your tireless efforts have given the kingdom a beautiful and stately new city. You have also done much for all of Egypt, feeding hungry people in their time of need. Your considerable efforts shall not go unrewarded.